locked my heart undercover But you stole it like a thief in the night I'm cold as December But my temperature is running high House is still not clean so we are going to do more of a deeper organization um, specifically starting with this area that we use for snacks um, we're not supposed to be chewing on that so we just went to Costco we did a restock on our snacks and now I need to organize this area has become a mess you can see I have boxes in here to organize um, but there's just stuff kind of thrown in here. So I figured we'll do a little chatting, a little organizing, and we have laundry going and dishes going that are almost done in four minutes. So that part's going much better than the last time. But now we need to do deeper organization. And I have Miss Teether here who has quite a few adult teeth in now, um, but they're really bothering her. And we're a little moody. We're in our four month like puppy teenager toddler stage whatever she's a little extra fussy so we'll see how this goes with her i hope you're doing well um thanks for joining me hopefully you can get something done or relax do what you want to do while we're over here organizing okay so obviously it's a little more ideal if you can see what we're doing more than just see me um i have actually a lot of kind bars still and we have a thing of kind bars so maybe instead of opening that we'll just stick that underneath and that will make this first thing super easy um the other thing that we have quite a lot of are jams that need to go somewhere which actually might get stuck behind there after but what i like is when you go to costco it comes in nice boxes so why change what they come in why not just use it, huh? You're so teethy. Yes, you are. Okay, no, thank you. Leave it. Leave it. Ellie. Ellie, leave it. Okay, I'm gonna show you some stuff that she just learned. Can we show them? Ah, set. Ready? I don't know if we're in a good frame here. Okay, ready? Sit. Shake. Yes. High five. Good girl! All right. So, right, like why switch this out of the box when it fits it perfectly? And it can go right there. So the fig bars obviously are not as nicely laid out. I like when you can just grab and go. So I'm using this box and I just stick them in sideways like this. And by flavor, you could alternate. That's another nice thing to do. That way you're getting something different each time. I just grab. So I'm like, okay, we're getting raspberry. So I'll just grab raspberry or vice versa. troubles but i think you just cut them in two you're my supernova the way you're lighting up every room um what else goes in here are the belvitas let's grab those She's a bit more sleepy, so it's a better time to film. 
I'm making coffee, so you'll hear that. And my shoes are up there because we're still working on that with Ellie. One of these days I'll have two batteries so I can go back and forth between the two. Ah, uh, she's going to choose to lay on me, isn't she? Um, so, oh, well, maybe not. We have more bags because we went shopping. Um, so we were back in this area and I just want to show it a little better. So we have our peanut butter crackers. We have Velveeta's and Fig Bars that are put in here backwards. Um, Kind Bars. And these are the main snacks that we have for work. I tend to take the Fig Bars. My husband will tend to take peanut butter crackers, Velveeta's, and Kind Bars. Um, and then occasionally I'll take the cheese crackers because he can't have dairy. And then we get over here, which is kind of where stuff is being shoved right now. So I'll put some of this stuff up. Yep, even just random plastic. This we gotta eat. I don't know if it's still good. Still good till December. We have to eat that. And she's sleeping. She's sleeping on me. Perfect. So this is my backstock box. It's a bit smaller. And actually what I should do is switch some of these out and move them over here, but I'm not going to. That's just more work. Good girl. Move these over. Can't really blame her. She's teething really bad. I think out of all her litter mates, it sounds like she's teething kind of the most intensely. And then this goes into the area where the rats are and it becomes a rat box. If you're new to my channel, I have pet rats. So that's what that means. Um, where did I put the fig bars? Okay, I guess I already emptied that. This will also become a rat box. And then in essence, that's all that should really be in here. Um, so in doing this section, the hope was that we could really easily grab snacks in the morning. I don't love that it's on the bottom shelf. That doesn't work great for us. Uh, we hope to eventually redo this kitchen, but it's not a top priority. So this is kind of how it just functions for us right now. The other things that are back here are just clear containers. I have all our towels stacked under here. We have these little pans that catch grease for our grill that we downsize to a smaller grill. These lighter towels that I use to cover food, like if I'm having dough rise or something. We have napkins in here, just a set of four that I probably wouldn't buy these ones again, um, but we have them, so we use them. And then I saw that. And then we have like this really little cloth. She loves towels. You're doing good at leave it. You just left it. Good girl. You just released. Very good. Then we have little things back there that go to parts of the kitchen that as we were painting we stuck back there. So it's not the best setup um, but it works for now and it's okay. Everything else kind of has to go to a different spot. I do keep the chips down here so I'll put those back down here. Again, not the best, but it works. We also have granola, but we haven't been eating yogurt lately. And I don't know. It's good for a while, so I guess we're gonna tuck it right in here and maybe we'll want yogurt again. And that's this section. So we're done organizing this. Um, yes, I do heavily need to clean this. It probably doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in person. I like the idea of yellow cabinets. I'm not loving how they uh, are right now. I would really prefer, I don't know the right word for that. I don't love, mm, I don't love the cabinets. I don't love how the paint feels on the cabinets. It feels very thick and gunky. And then of course it gets gunk on it. I would really like to have just natural cabinets, but that's not how these ones came. They had a really gross color red on it. And then I wanted to paint over it because I wanted a happy color. Um, and so now we're working, we're working with that. I have Ellie here. This is a perfect time to take a thumbnail picture. 
So I'm gonna do that. We got the thumbnail as soon as it's gone she's done she relaxes and it's right there and she doesn't go after it it's so interesting all right ellie that's one cabinet down but we still have this pantry to go that's our coffee well it's my coffee you're not having coffee okay i'm gonna say welcome to our pantry corner when we bought this house, the fridge just over here now was right here. And so the amount of space that you could use to access this pantry was about the width of my body. Because the counter space is so odd and we have some appliances here, that's Ellie getting comfortable under the tripod. Um, we have a really nice toaster oven here and then our microwave on this setup that my husband built that I'll show you later because Ellie is right there. This side hosts food, right, in theory. Uh, it was super organized. And gosh, just looking at all that, there's so much there. Here's how it kind of is organized now. Dog stuff up top, dog stuff here, canned stuff there. Uh, produce that I forget about here. This was rat stuff. Then it's just kind of a mix of everything with baking and then random stuff and I've kind of just been putting things in random places and that doesn't work. I know what I need to do is really just take it out and put it on the counter. I don't want to do that. My mind is just overwhelmed lately. Lately I've been trying to make sense of how I get overwhelmed with things down and my need for like a minimal setup and I think the reason I seek out minimalism so much is because I do well when I have less stuff. Um, less stuff to be distracted by, less stuff to get in the way. And I think that's why I like to have a minimal setup. But obviously that's not how our life functions all the time, right? We're not super minimal. Um, so taking everything out and seeing all that stuff just overwhelms me. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on a little music for you. I'm going to move all this stuff over. And I hate that I'm doing this, but we're doing this. Because that's the only way that I see this getting fixed. empty cabinet pantry is beautiful. Yes, I swept it with a broom. I just kind of quickly wiped it off with a cloth. The kitchen is 
a disaster. And this is too much. I don't want to shove it all back in here. And as I was touching like each item, I was thinking about how it makes sense for me to organize certain things in certain ways. So there's a lot going on in my mind, but first I'll show you the mess. Just all kinds of stuff everywhere. There. All kinds of stuff here. And just some random cans there. And Ellie going, what are you even doing? She didn't like that she saw me touching all of her treats and stuff. I need to find a better way to organize as well. Interestingly enough, the first thing that I gravitate towards is pasta, rice. Um, so I'm going to grab those things. I like these because they are a great thing when thinking about a meal. It's an easy start. It's an easy grab. If you don't know where to go, you just grab a grain. Um, so I'm going to put these here. I really wish I could show kind of more of what they are um, or there was a better way to organize them. If I had clear containers, that would work so well. But this one's open. This one's open. They're totally different pastas. I don't really care. They're going to go together. Bow ties and little rigatoni. Good leave it. Yes. And of course, it's more appealing if they go together like that. And then if I have pasta, the other thing that I would be looking for is the pasta sauce. Now, where did I put that? Right there. So it almost makes sense in my mind to organize by things that would go together. So the pastas and the sauce would go together. I have the rice. I'm pushing everything up toward the front. And I don't really think I have anything in there that goes with rice specifically. So I'm going to leave that. The other thing that's really easy for me that I'm probably not going to change is just canned stuff. Um, it's really easy to just stick stuff on there and organize it by what it is. But I think the difference is I'm going to organize it down. So like before I had corn next to each other, now I think I'm going to put it like down. So I have a baked beans and I have regular beans. I'll put those next to each other and then I have two of the black beans. So those will go staggered down. I have the same with the baked beans. So staggered down. I thought I had another thing of corn. I probably do, and I just don't know where it is, but okay. So that makes sense to me as well. Now what? Hmm. I don't know, Ellie. I don't know what's next. Oh. Found another pasta. Part of me really wants to put these in like mason jars and kind of categorize it that way. But for now, this is what has to work. You know, the problem with this is that the furnace goes through here and in winter it gets really hot. However, yeah. yeah. However, I don't think it gets super hot during summer. I might be wrong. For today, I'm gonna try this. I might regret this because out of sight, out of mind. Instead of dog stuff up here, I'm almost thinking about putting the bread up here because I'm noticing that it's a good layout. Like it's not a super tall area, but it's enough to kind of see each of the breads and have them there and not worry about them. These should go in the freezer. What's today's date? I should know this. Um. I think it is the 17th. All right, we'll put these in the freezer. I see you taking that cardboard box. I'm going to have to get it back. Okay, that works, right? I think this one's old. Yep, it is. Hmm. 
we have a really nice island. However, that island has like a strong incense smell from whoever had it um, up in a ski resort and they're actually just going to trash it. So we took it um, and I love to put the baking stuff in there, but because of that smell, I really don't want to do that. So I think down there is going to stay baking again. I don't love the kitchen setup. It's not really conducive to how I want it to be set up, but I have to make it work. So I'm going to thoughtfully think about the baking stuff like sugar. Okay. And maybe it should go not in that tall section. It should go in the shorter. She grabbed more cardboard. I'll be back. She looks adorable with this in her mouth, but this is what we do. Ellie, Ellie, here. Come here. Can you sit? Sit. Come here. Ellie. It's not going to work this time, is it? I see you. Come here. Look, treat. Okay, I won't make you sit, but you need the treat. Here you go. Look, here you go. You just shoved it out of the way. Here, try this one. Oh, we're learning we can't grab the treat with that in our mouth. Ellie! Ellie! How are you gonna problem solve that? I will say her mom and grandma always have something in their mouth when we go to visit. So I feel like this is partially just dog genetics. Ellie! Ellie! Okay. Plan B is I just take it. Ellie, here! Here! Let's do an exchange. No, I don't really want to play fun with recycling. Come here. Come here. Ellie. Come here. Do you want a higher quality than... I think this is chicken. This is pretty high quality for you. Oh, man. All right. Okay. That was fun. Now I'm thinking I could use this a ton of different ways, but the way I want to use it right in this moment is going to be the chocolate chips. Even though I'm seeing like three other things that I could do. As I suspected, it's not going to fit all of them, but it fit most of them. These things don't seem to seal like they used to. And my mistake for not taking all of the cardboard up. So we're going to take a little break and do that. I always say that a rat will show you if your house is rat proofed or not. Well, a puppy will show you if your house is puppy proofed or not. And right now, clearly, the house is not puppy proofed in the kitchen because we just brought a bunch of stuff back. Okay, that stuff I gotta take care of that's not food. The other thing I'm seeing is this pasta, which I thought had another pasta friend. I don't know. So I'm gonna put it like that. It's not ideal, but it works. Part of me goes, you know, we could just do a little montage of all this and it will be pretty and done, but I feel like talking through it really helps. And it might help me go, okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking when I did this. Okay, I see that I have actually bread flour, so that told me I had an ambition of trying to make some bread that didn't come to fruition. Oh, I don't know. I have cocoa. This looks like extra sugar. That can go in here. We don't really go through very much sugar. Whoa, hey, it fits. Awesome, we just got rid of this jar. Now this one is full. So I can go back. Cool. Cornstarch baking powder. Then I have baking soda somewhere. Here's 
the baking soda. And that seems pretty good for this shelf. Okay. In these, I have flour. So there's flour in this one. That one's empty. And now I'm back to, oh no, what do I do? I like the idea of putting this putting these here maybe like this maybe like that probably like that parmesan is like pasta right so i'm gonna tuck that over even though i was trying not to tuck anything we're going to I have another one of these baskets that might get put here i guess i don't know now i'm looking at how i have peanut butter and that's like a staple thing. Mm. Where do we put all this stuff? I don't know. I need an area for back stock and I think back stock should be down more. So I'm thinking like the barbecue and the bouillon, that's back stock that could go over here. We have a bunch of jams actually that could go down there too. And I noticed I have this box. I'm pretty sure I have more of those can holders downstairs but for now a box would suffice say sorry cause we're all just human and the world keeps going yeah we all keep moving all your flaws will never be proven baby we're all just a little bit human i'm proud to know i've tried i'm proud to know that i'm just a little bit human Should cookies be at eye level? Probably not. And we don't tend to have them very often. But I'm going to put them there. Oh yes, the rest of the chocolate chips. That'd be back stock. That's not really back stock. It's more like use it first. Oh no. This is where I start shoving things in that I probably shouldn't start shoving things in. Where's the other pasta I knew I had? No pain, no gain, all the growth and shedding mm -hmm. At least to me from start to ending Cause I can be emotional Honey, but I let it go sometimes Oh baby, how it takes me like Obviously it's not perfect, but it's better than what it was and that's the goal for today. I grabbed some coffee to take a little break. Then I'm gonna come back and clean the kitchen yet again. And I guess I'm gonna go watch some Married at First Sight. I think we're on episode five or six right now. We'll be back. We are back at the dishwasher, but at least it's not just hand washing dishes. Um, I'm just gonna start a montage and now I see Ellie is actually eating the tripod. So Ellie, leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Look at me. Focus. Yes. So anytime basically the camera shakes, that's Ellie trying to eat something or moving under it. So we're going to switch the montage and I'm just going to do some quick cleaning um, because all this is basically just putting away. Just human and the world keeps going Yeah, we all keep moving All your flaws will never be proven Baby, we're all just a little bit human I'm proud to know I've tried I'm proud to know that I'm just a little bit human One year later and look here we are Changing all the words to the song.
things that we knew So much change, the only constant was you I've been places that aren't very pretty And you save spaces for love and a big city I don't sleep, you dream all night The climb is steep, we're dressed in Something people say isn't wise All I really need to know is that you'll be by my side Cause we're in for a wild ride We are so good at embarrassing ourselves We take our cares and put them on a shelf We're two old souls and we don't mind People say isn't wise All I really need to know is that you'll be by my side Cause we're in for a wild ride We are in the guest bedroom. Here's my closet. Um, I have been doing a lot of thinking around my closet. Something I've tried recently that's not too bad is organizing by color, by the rainbow. So over here I have reds, um, yellow and orange apparently got red, orange, yellow. yeah. So, oh, you can't even see. So one thing I've tried to do is arrange by color. Sorry if you hear Ellie chewing. We just got our chews in and she's teething like crazy. Um, so I tried to organize by color. Everything red goes in one section and orange and yellow and so on. And that actually worked fairly well. And part of the reason why I did that is because I wanted to actually see how much of one color I own. Um, what I own for blacks and blues and greens. And shockingly that I do own, you know, like orange. Um, with summer, there's so much here, and with a puppy, there's so much I can't wear right now because of how she chews. Like literally, camis. I can wear these camis I just found from Costco that match the other ones that I have. Um, and then some shorts that I got from Old Navy that are just like basic shorts. I think you saw a couple of those. I have two of those, not in here. Teaching clothes I'm not wearing during summer as is. And then my nice summer clothes I'm not wearing because she's teething and her teeth get hooked on stuff. So basically what I want to do in here in our natural lighting um, is to sort my clothes by winter teacher, like warmer weather teacher, and like nice summer versus like loungy summer so that I can pare down what's in here and access it. You can see that I have my computer and desk over here. So it's really hard to access this space. And this has happened because we've changed the other room into a playroom rather than um, what was a study. And we changed a different room into our bedroom. So like all the rooms have changed. And now this is like a two in one. So it's a desk space and it's a guest bed. And like that's the entire space. So I'm gonna put some music on. I'm gonna sort, I'm gonna change the angle so that you can see better. And we're just gonna get going. is a new start I don't know what I'm doing with my life what we want is something people say isn't wise I don't really know what the I'm doing with my life with my life what we want is something people say isn't wise all I really need to know is that you'll be by my side cause we're in for a while
make you smile in the morning. Following the linings. Walking through what I have, this is all more winter teacher clothes. Then I have like a mix of spring fall that also transitions into winter teaching clothes. Nice summer clothes. Unsure pile of I'm sure if I want to keep it or not. Um, then I have over here some work clothes that I use around the house. And then these are more like just things I put on um, if I'm cold, regardless of the weather. And then I have a, a lovely mess up here. Oh, and I have nice dresses in the back. So this is a lot. I would like to put these in a bin with the exception of things that really do need to be hung up. Uh, these can sit in the back. And again, I don't, I, I don't wear a lot in summer. I wear a lot of the same things over and over again. But this, this overwhelms me. And it's not even that messy. So the next step is to take everything out of the closet. It's just like the pantry. I don't want to do it. It's going to create a bigger mess. I'm going to get overwhelmed, but I need to do it in order to recreate the space. So, um, without further ado, here we go. On your sheets. Cause baby in your absence, life is boring. So I'll never leave. I've been looking for my black old navy shorts I literally just got were on the floor in the closet as was this sunscreen that's for my thyroid um scar you put it over it and it helps protect it I've been looking everywhere for that I left the hangers in but there's not much else in here we have a light uh nothing there plastic to go over this horrible wall texture um, shelf, that's it. You can see you can shove a lot of stuff in here, like all my baskets that I have stuff I want to do with, my bags, my cameras that clearly need a new home. That's not the right place for it, but that's where I put it. Um, I have my bins for like, I guess pajamas that don't go in here, but like different things. Uh, that didn't clarify anything, but you know, like belts or bras or other little things, underwear, socks, this beautiful rug that is going to go in this room because it matches the purple, but not until we are older and fully trained. So we're waiting. Yoga mat was under the bed, but she snuck under the bed and found that and started chewing on stuff. So that got shoved in there too. And if I felt like a minimalist at all, I don't feel like one now. That's terrible lighting. That's terrible camera angle. Alright, I guess so. It's probably the best that we have. Knowing full and well that um, I want all my hangers to match and also not all of my clothes are even up here. I'm going to at least put the summer clothes here and then go from there. Um, no more about the other two piles after. And then one of the smart things that I did is that I actually stacked the pile upside down so that when I pick it back up, all I have to do is this. Ta-da! Wow, that's all my summer clothes. Okay, I don't know if you can see all that, but um, there's definitely got to be some in the wash because... That's not nearly enough. Not to mention this cutie right here really is 
oh, well, I like wearing it, but if you've been around, you know that I have excessive sweat, which makes it hard to wear anything that is anything with sleeves, um, except I tend not to have it when I'm at home. It tends to be when I'm at work moving around or if I've had coffee. And the thing that I hate about that is it very much limits my wardrobe. And I've tried things like aluminum, like you actually roll on aluminum. You actually roll it on and it blocks out the sweat. But the problem with that is that aluminum's linked to bad things, first of all. And second of all, it just like irritates your skin. So obviously not a good thing to have. So I've just had to work with it. And then I just wear this kind of stuff and it seems to work for me. Welcome to my minimalist summer wardrobe. <laughs> There's got to be some more. I'm going to go look for it. It's a new day with interesting natural lighting. I think it actually looks better on camera than it does in here. Uh, the bed is much more messy than I intended to leave it because I left it. Uh, I had been thinking about the overwhelm of seeing everything in the closet. And I've gone back and forth so many times in the past few years of do I leave everything in the closet? Do I have a minimal amount so everything looks okay in the closet? Or do I tuck things away? And I find that I like to keep my teaching clothes separate because they're tucked away and I'm not grabbing my teaching clothes for summer or grabbing my casual clothes for teaching. Um, so my husband and I went to Home Depot and we picked up two of these totes. One for me, one for him, where we can store in a clear container what we will not be wearing for a chunk of a season. I've done this before. Uh, I've done it with a lot worse organized closets um, where like things are folded and I had too many clothes and it was just a lot. So this pile, which is or was my more wintry, cooler weather clothes, are going to go in there not sure about my supposedly spring pile um, but those are the things I need to take care of first so I'm just gonna be putting things in folding and it'll probably fill up way sooner than I anticipate it but we're gonna try okay now ideally uh, I guess the bottom would be what goes in first but I have the top in front of me so I'm gonna flip it over and we'll see what's underneath okay I have pants I feel like that's a really good place to start. The benefit of this too is it gives me more hangers that match. I'm trying to get all matching items and um, I, I don't know. Apparently that will help me somehow, I guess. I almost think a longer, yeah, do you see that? Probably not. A longer fold instead of doing quarters, I did thirds. And that makes that look nice. Yeah, adjust the angle. There we go. That looks really good. If I can do that again, that'd be perfect. I like these from Target. Oh, my husband's calling. I'll be right back. Okay, got that figured out. And now the door is cracked open because Ellie insists on being a part of this, but actually in a different room looking at me. Um, she just wants the door open. Anyways, I really like the hangers from Target. These are the pant hangers and then there are the other wooden hangers that uh, I'll show you after if I can find them. I wasn't sure about wooden hanger quality at first. We don't have Ikea anywhere near us, but I like these. You can get them in bulk. They've been working great. The problem with the felt ones is that the actual like hanging part, the metal part tends to come off and break. Um, so I don't really love that. But anyways, I'm thinking, part of me goes, put the pants, um, Ellie, leave it. Put the pants like this, like stack them like that. Now our part of me goes, put them this way so that all the pants are on the bottom. I'm actually gonna try and make this go further like that. There we go, except now it's gonna be uneven, isn't it? Oh man, what do I do? I've never paid so much attention to like how I fold before. Okay. There are a couple things I'm not going to put in here most likely, and that would be my suit jackets. I have two of them. They're really nice, so I don't want to fold them up. Now the problem with this is in there's space. So I think I'm going to do this. And maybe rotate these so they're more even. Trial and error. And then of course it's going to be 
lopsided and heavy on one side. So these are the suit jackets that I'm probably just going to end up hanging rather than folding, even though this one I just picked up from my mom's garage sale. And these are pretty nice, so I don't want to fold them. Cardigans are something I layer a lot with, so I guess I'll just do one side of cardigans, that way I can easily grab them. Yeah, that's an easy fold. Alright, I'm going to go speed through this with some music, and then I'll check in on you in a little bit. Okay, I'm at that point where I feel pretty confident about the stuff in the tote, and then I just have stuff that I'm like, maybe not so confident in. So this is a mix of the hangers, some of my more springy, folly teaching clothes, like scarves I definitely am going to put in there, but there, there's just a mess, a mess of stuff. And I think this is a part where I kind of hit that block and go, I'm unsure and I have to make a decision and it's hard for me to make that decision. So I think what I'm going to go with here is that the stuff that I know I'm going to access earlier goes on top. Like these pants are both things I'll access pretty much right away. Do you find a toy, Ellie? Good girl. Good girl finding a toy. So if I'm going to access it right away, it makes sense that's on the top. It's also going to be in our house. It's not going to be that hard to open up the tote and grab what I need if I need it. My concern is opening up the tote, going, I want this, reaching and grabbing something like in the middle and making a mess and leaving it a mess. So I'm going to aim not to do that. So I never leave. Okay, you can't exactly see what's in here because I covered it with my four scarves. But basically over here I have bottoms, this is tops and dresses, and then these are mostly like cardigans, vests, and jackets. And then I have the scarves on top, which is kind of block it. I'm okay with that. And then it's just going to get covered. And this is a part where I feel like usually these totes are stuffed to the brim and I can't cover it. But look at that. And then it just reminds me that I do have enough clothes for teaching and they're going to carry me through three in three seasons. So they'll cover me through fall, winter and spring. And most of teaching is in the winter or at least winter weather. So I have this. Now I have the mess to deal with. Um, and this can't go here because I actually need to access the closet. A story, you know. Surely there are some turns on the road. Learn
around from all of the places we go, we know the only way is up. Through every storm, somehow we find our way. What looks impossible, no, that can change. Climb up the mountain until we're on top. We see these and by get rid of them, blah, blah, blah. it's looking better and better um, I want to get rid of all of these and by that I mean put them back in their proper laundry area we don't have a um, clothing line at this house and I don't know if we will but we're definitely going to at some point and I'm not the kind of person that keeps things just in case but this is more of an intentional I know we're going to use it and I might as well keep them um, because I have repurposed them in different ways. So there's that. I have some shorts that I'm not really thrilled about. I really do like these ones from Old Navy. Those ones, they're from Target and they just don't fit quite right. I had a hard time with sizing. Um, there's two different brands. One is A New Day and the other one is Who, What, Where. And those I wear eight in and these ones I wear medium in and they're just, they just fit kind of funny. And actually the cover that covers the zipper is so like thin that because it goes over my hips and over my belly like it does not actually cover the zipper and so they don't look great they'll probably look good on somebody else i think i might donate those I, it's just kind of hard because like in my mind i felt so good about getting those last year and honestly they just didn't last and also now i'm seeing this this is going to turn into a ripped pair of shorts i guess because we have a hole that leaves a pile of onshore camera stuff, a few tank tops I actually have to try on from Duluth, and like a bathing suit. I have two things that I found that have to go in that tote. These are my really nice pair of Talbot jeans, so I want to keep those nice because Ellie eats everything right now. And then this is essentially like a dress shirt extender. It goes under, it's kind of like a slip, but it extends whatever I'm wearing. And I use that for the classroom. Okay, I need to decide on a few of those things. I just I just spun in a circle because why not? I need to decide on some of this stuff, clean it up, and then get to the point where I can edit this video. So we'll check in again. Um, but I think I'm just gonna check in in like a minute. Together we're strong, together we're strong, we climb to the top, see what we've become, together we're strong, 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 together we're strong. Together we're strong. Okay, here's what we have here. Um, get rid of the shorts because they don't make me happy and why keep them if they're just not fitting right or they feel worn or 
uh, just get rid of them. I have my bathing suit that like I want to hang, but the person in me knows that I just want to grab and go with this. So I'm trying to think of how I could make it so I can grab and go. Same with these leggings. I could hang them, but they're almost easier folded up for me. So I'm thinking about that. Um, still gotta try these on, but I'm gonna save that. And I think there's a little more that I want to do. But I think that's plenty for this video. I want to say thank you for spending this time with me as I organized. Maybe you got some organization in too, or maybe you just relax, whatever it is, whatever worked for you. Thanks for being here. Um, we'll check in again in about a week and see where all this goes. I find that right now I am just organizing to meet my needs, both where I'm at like mentally and how I function around the house um, and what's just easily accessible for me. I'm learning a lot about that right now. so. This has been truly helpful. I feel like this is a different kind of organization than ever before for me. Um, I tried a lot of things. I'm still trying this, but like simplifying, which has always been my bleh, which has always been my thing. I just think now I'm connecting the dots. So thanks for being here. Remember, whatever you are handling, you've got this, and I will see you next time. Bye. You're stealing my heart, baby. Stealing my But I think you just cut them in two